Chair recognizes the gentlelady from Nevada for two minutes, Ms. Titus. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to go back to the point that was made by Mr. Langevin about election security. Uh, CISA provides a lot of services free to state and local governments so that they can use those services and resources to reduce both cyber and physical risk to our election systems. Uh, the election system has been designated as part of critical infrastructure. And yet, if you look at the budget, that infrastructure research uh, lacks funding from the Science and Technology Directorate. I wonder if there are any plans or any funding opportunities through the Centers of Excellence program to allow uh, the Science and Technology Division to work with universities or other organizations so we can leverage what DHS does invest to try to be sure our election systems are uh, safe and free from attack. Uh, Congresswoman, we are um, integrating the work of science and technology in everything that we do. Uh, one of our organizational priorities that I set out uh, for the department is to actually harness technology and innovation. And the science, the Office of Science and Technology has a seat at the leadership table more than they ever have. And we are indeed using their extraordinary expertise in varied mission sets, including in election security. Well, I hope you'll reach out to some of our universities. I know UNLV has a major program uh, in cyber technology, cyber protection, and I think they'd be able to contribute maybe to some of our, uh, some of your efforts here or some of those uh, centers where they are focused on terrorism as well as on elections. Um, most certainly, um, uh, Congresswoman, and we'd be pleased to follow up with you in terms of the specifics of how we can most effectively do so. That'd be great. Thank you. And I'll pass that word on to UNLV. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Gentlelady's time has expired.